अंकल वॉट आर यू डूइंग Oh my God! Thank you. Good morning. How are you all? I'm fine. You know, You're I, all fine. I'm really shocked because I was gazing the sky. Yes, we saw that. Yeah. Uh, do you know what I was gazing? I think at the stars. Yes, stars are so beautiful, right? So, yes. Do you know? Do you love stars? Yes, I like stars. Do you love stars? I love. Stars. Okay. What do you know about stars? They're so yes. bright and so shiny. Shiny, bright. Then. And. They, we cannot even count them because there's so many numbers. So many countless yes. stars. Okay, then. And uh, you can't even count them. It's that ah, much. Yes, that's all. So I'm going to ask a few questions about stars huh. to test your your GK. Okay. So which is the nearest star to Earth? The Sun. Sun is a star, but the nearest star to the Earth yes. is called Proxima Centauri. Proxima Centauri. Proxima Centauri. Okay. Okay. Cool. So, which is the brightest star? Um, the sun. That's not. This star is brighter than the sun. Right. Which is the brightest? I think it starts with a C, but I don't remember the name. It starts with a yes. <laughs> S. Yeah, something was somewhat like Sirius, that. Sirius. Okay. Sirius. Sirius okay. is the brightest star to the earth. Okay, so stars are such a beautiful, fantastic celestial body, right? Um, but do you know the stars each has a name and oh. it has a purpose for human life? No, I don't know that. Do you know that? See, normally when you uh, study very well in your school and they give you what they give you. Um, they give a plus. Okay, then. They give you a star. star. They give you a star because they want you to be a shining star. So what I look is each person has a star that connects with them. You know, star shows a sign also. You know, it leads people, and that's what is amazing uh, thing happened in Jesus Christ's life. Oh, you know that? I think I don't know. You know, you no. Know, see, now we have Google Map. Now we have like uh, navigator. Yes. Uh, GPS, so many things that you know, um, it's available to yes. find the location. But Jesus was born in a very small town called Bethlehem. That too, he was laid down in a manger, you know, swaddling, yes, clothes, swaddling clothes. You know, all very, very humble and low beginning, right? Yes. So what happened is, you know, um, they were wise men, right? They yes. were wise men. You know, you know, wise men. Yeah, yes. they're very they intelligent. They are intellectual, intelligent. Yes. Um, they know all kinds of, you know, the literatures. Yes. So while they were studying literature, one day they found a star, which is a sign for a king coming into the earth. So oh. they thought, uh, literally, a king is coming. So a star, a star which symbolizes a king, king birth, is appearing. So they were wondering where the king is. So they started following the star. Yeah. So. So you know now you find they were using their intelligence. Intelligence, yes. But Jesus is above all intelligence, right? Yes. He wants to co connect with the common people, to the lowest of the lowest people, yes. to all the people of the world. He belongs, right? Not for a particular section. Whether they yes. love him, they know him, it doesn't matter. Jesus is for all, right? And so this what they, what happened is you know um, this they followed the star and they. Use their intelligence, and they went into the palace to find out because they assumed they thought it was a king. A king, right? Yes. So they went to the king Herod, and they asked them, "Oh, where is the king born? Where is the king? We want to see the king, baby." Oh, this caused great fear among the people and the king because the the king oh. was so afraid. There is a successor without my knowledge. Somebody else is. Born in this earth as a king to replace me, so he was so afraid and angry. So he was plotting. Um, but later on, this pe wise people somehow they gathered. They thought, leaving all the other things, they follow, follow the, star. the star. Yes. They follow the star. So the you know what happened? They follow the star. The star exactly took them to Bethlehem and stood over the place where. Baby Jesus was lying in a manger. Was it not amazing? Yes, it's amazing. 
It's so amazing. So amazing. It's like a GPS. It's like Google Map. It's like a navigator. The star was leading the wise men to the place and birth of Jesus Christ. And they started worshipping. You know mm. Bible, what, what the Bible says? You know, they were really happy to see that star. When they when they found that star, they you know they were very happy. It seems. Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna read that verse and then we're gonna close. All right. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna read this in Matthew second chapter nine and ten says like this: When they heard the king, they departed and behold the star which they had seen in the east went before them. Till it came and stood over where the young child was. So it was leading them and it came to an alt where the child Jesus was. The next verse is very important. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. Wow, they must have been very happy. <laughs> very happy, right? Because yes. they found the place, they found the destiny, they found the purpose of the life, and they yes. started worshiping because they know that is that the is king. Jesus, that is king, the king who is born in this earth. But the, but it was beyond human comprehension. It is beyond human understanding. It is beyond human intelligence, and that's the birth of Jesus Christ. So Amen. they found the star, and they were exceedingly, they were very happy with great joy. joy. That's the speciality of a star in the birth of Jesus. And that's why symbolizing this, we hang stars in our house. Do you hang a star in your house? Yes, we do. Yes? yes. Okay, you also hang a star in your house, symbolizing exceedingly great joy, which leads you to Jesus. God, God bless you. you.